Hello, Geminis. This is going to be your reading from October the 16th to the 31st. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It doesn't check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder, these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh, too many cards came out there. Um, just pulling an angel oracle here. We'll start with that. Move into traditional tarot after. For Gemini, please. Just one. Thank you. All right, divine timing. So this is your message. Divine timing. Life is always unfolding in the perfect time-space sequence, so angel wisdom is encouraging you to move in the state of trust, knowing that a good things are always unfolding for you. You may find yourself feeling impatient and unsettled, but instead of letting go, um, it's but instead of letting your ego and imagination pull you into a downward spiral, trust that your prayers are being answered and your plans are coming to fruition in a way that is meeting your needs rather than your wants. You may feel that the prayers aren't being answered or that your hopes aren't being realized, but you must know that the universe and your angels are always working toward the highest good and the outcome that will best serve you. When this card appears, trust in the process. This card is a sign that your hopes and dreams are unfolding, and you may not think so, but you need to remember that you may be working to, uh, working to human time, whereas God is always working on soul time, which can never be measured or rushed. You are being guided to know that your angel team is with you right now, encouraging you to call in support of the heavens in aligning your current situation with love. Imagine yourself and your situation covered in a golden light, and ask angels to show you the way forward, knowing that they are working for your highest good. Ooh. I love that for you, Gemini. All right. Give me a moment just to ooh, pull some cards here. I don't know why all the cards are just kind of flying for you today. But just give me a moment to kind of pull these cards for Gemini, please. Let me feel this um, energy that I'm feeling for Gemini, please. I, I know like the card was divine timing, but again, I saw a watch and so I'm looking at the watch like, okay, is it time yet? Is it time yet? Is it ready? You know, anxiously kind of looking at a watch. So I think time is going to be, um, something that is important for you in these two weeks um again like this to kind of divine crime and card not um not kind of trying to rush time or waiting for something to happen it's interesting because you are in the space right now of rest you are in this space of um regrouping your energy of taking that time out we have the four swords in your main uh, your main energy gemini which means it's time to rest recover meditate you know just chill you know, it's a time for kind of regaining your energy. It's a time for sleep. It's a time for um, just having that free time to kind of, you know, regain our energy, to rest. It's funny, though, because this rest energy is making you feel really unsettled. We have this uh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's making you feel like things aren't working out for you or things aren't kind of spinning in your favor. That followed by the King of Swords in reverse here, which is kind of overthinking, um, which can be energy of getting a little bit too cold, uh, getting cold like with your speech, um, getting negative, um, you know, that kind of overdrive, that overthinking here. And it's interesting because I feel like this rest is making you kind of overthink and making you kind of turn calm. You're like, well, nothing's working out for me. Everything's, you know, spiraling down or, you know, um, things aren't kind of moving quick enough for me here. But it seems like we're not kind of honoring this kind of rest period. We're not honoring this time to just relax and chill. Because trust me, there's going to be a lot more times where you're kind of go, go, going, Gemini, where your energy is, um, you know, moving so, so, quick, so quickly that you're just kind of like, ah, uh, 
So enjoy it. Enjoy this rest time. Enjoy it while things are kind of chill. Enjoy that time um, and energy to yourself here. Because with this Ten of Pentacles coming out here, it says that you're still on the track to this kind of abundance, to everything that you kind of want um, in life here. You know, um, that's what I kind of always represent with the Ten of Pentacles. It's just kind of like that emotional contentment, that happiness, that gratitude. But I don't think if you say like, in anyone's life, you know, what does this look like? It's it, This doesn't look like working all the time, right? This doesn't look like, um, you know, having a, 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 so much money in the bank. Well, this can represent uh, money, but I mean, it does, it's not represented of, you know, material value. It's also just enjoying our life and being um, happy with our life here as well. So you are on the right path. So just kind of keep on trusting that. Is this energy I'm getting with you, Gemini? We have... Um, the kind of eight of cups here as well which is wish fulfillment so if that's something that you are stressed right now let it go please whatever this over kind of thinking is that you are doing it's time to just kind of rest and regain your energy here we have the ten of pentacles we have the wish fulfillment so those are both amazing signs that you are kind of on the right path here the eight of cups also kind of represents emotional kind of contentment so we're working on our kind of emotional self right now, our happiness as well. I don't know. I just went through a period where things were so, so crazy and so busy and I was so stressed and anxious. And this week, things are a lot more calmer and I feel so much better and I feel so much kind of happier now. And I feel like that's probably what you're going to go through in these two weeks as well. When you just kind of trust this maybe rest period that you're in right now, um, trust that things are will work out for you in the future. But right now, it's really important to kind of regain this extra sleep, regain this time of just resting. Um, here for yourself because you want to come out your best, right, Gemini? You always want to be like, you know, I'm, I want to be in this space of gratitude. I want to be in this space of feeling happy in my life, feeling contentment, you know, feeling joy, appreciating my life here. We have the Queen of Wands coming out. And the Queen of Wands is someone who is very passionate, someone who's very creative, um, someone who um, kind of knows what they kind of want out of this life, has many talents. I kind of want to see what this kind of Queen of Wands is for you, Gemini. What is this Queen of Wands all about for Gemini? Page of Swords. There might be some creative person, maybe a female, reaching out to you um, in these two weeks. We do have the Page of Swords coming on this kind of Queen of Wands here. This person could be older than you, um, but they're coming through for a conversation here. It could be a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, but they're coming in to talk to you or start a conversation. I just want to see if I can see what this kind of conversation might be about. We have the Ace of Swords reverse as well, which is again, this kind of um, not having mental clarity, um, feeling like we're overthinking a lot. We also have the Ten of Swords here as well, which is feeling like very defeated. Maybe this person is coming in with kind of a pep talk for you, or this person is coming in being like, all right, well, um, you know, I'm here to help you out in this situation. I'm, I'm, I'm here to kind of get you out of the space of overthinking everything, out of the space of, you know, feeling so kind of defeated by life here. Um, Whatever this kind of Queen of Wands energy is, it is feeling like a helping conversation. Maybe there's a mentor, or maybe there's someone that you're kind of you kind of really look up to here as well. Let's have the King of Pentacles popping out. What is this kind of King of Pentacles? I feel this kind of King of Pentacles is your energy right now, Gemini. You know, the King of Pentacles um, basically is basically a card of value, right? This person, um, they've kind of built something for themselves here, whether that's be their career, what they kind of wanted in life, whether that be money. Um, this person is kind of sitting pretty. They've done the work. They're at the final stage round. They can just kind of sit and enjoy um, their energy here. And I feel like there's a part of you that kind of feels like we're not maybe going to get here. We're not going to get to this kind of King of Pentacles moment, this place where we're just kind of sitting um, contently with kind of what we have and what we've kind of built for ourselves here because we do have the um, Nine of Wands coming out sideways. And when the Nine of Wands comes out sideways, uh, for me in a reading when a card comes out sideways, it means that we it could go either way. 
So either we're like trusting that things are going to work out for us, trusting that we're on our way to this kind of king of pentacles moment, or we're kind of doing the opposite and not really trusting it. They're saying with this Hermit card here that there's a little bit of work that needs to be done with um, our inner work, shadow work that needs to be done right now. Maybe this is why you are having this time of pause to kind of take a look at that. It is eclipse season right now, so these eclipses that are happening are trying to kind of rid you of this maybe old energy or things that we need to get rid of. And there's something here um, in your energy that almost feels like not believing in yourself or also feels like there might be this moment of you're not trusting that this can kind of happen for you here and nothing's going to be kind of created in this world because we do kind of uh, create our own reality right um, if you can't visualize it yourself if you can't feel like it will happen for you it probably won't happen um, if you trust that part inside yourself that it's like i'm on the right path i'm doing the right thing I trust that completely. I trust my angels have my back. I trust that I have my own back here and um, solutions are on the way for me. You start sending out those kind of signals to the earth, right? You send out that energy of things are working in your favor. You know you are lucky. Things are actually turning in your favor, even though it doesn't feel like it right now. It's giving that kind of divine trust, right? And I think you're going to see new opportunities with this five of pentacles in reverse come your way because you're getting out of this energy of lack. You're getting out of this energy of kind of abandonment um, here. You're getting out of this energy that you're going to kind of always be in this place of things not working out for you, always in this place where we're feeling um, left out in the cold in situations. Things aren't happening for us, right? Things aren't meant for us, and we're moving away from that here. So take this time, especially in this two weeks, importantly, for that downtime, for that time to just kind of rest. Um, be thankful for kind of this rest that's coming in as well, because who knows, maybe in a few weeks you're going to be in time of action and that's just going to be your like well i'm so glad i rested when i did because this would have been a lot if i kind of came at it with an empty cup for gemini please We have the Fool card in the reverse. We have the World card, which is called, talking about cycles. We have the Chariot moving forward. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles. With this Fool card in reverse, it could um, talk about fear of a new beginning, fear of um, change, fear of uh, starting over, fear of um, being free here as well. I don't it, it, it kind of, for me, represents more of that feeling of, you know, not being open to the new, scared of, of maybe um, closing off a cycle here or trying something new or doing something new. The world color is always about that kind of ending of a cycle. I don't know why it kind of feels like we're nervous to step away from something. Maybe we've been doing um, something for a really long time. So I'm just feeling this energy that I'm feeling. It feels like there's a, uh, this energy of a cycle that we've kind of maybe been going through. And the world card always kind of represents kind of like major cycles here. So I do think you're kind of transitioning out of one cycle and moving into the next cycle. There is a new fear in this um, cycle about moving forward or, or changing here. I think before maybe this old cycle was all about kind of material wealth, was, called, was all about kind of gaining that, you know, getting more money. But it's feeling like this new cycle that you're kind of entering in now is more about kind of fulfillment or enjoyment. I don't know, but I'm getting this energy kind of in my heart center that is, is um, this period of rest of this period of this time where we're just kind of reflecting or this time where we're resting here. It's kind of lead you towards more kind of um, this emotional fulfillment. And this is why this is kind of the eight of cups coming up here and I keep kind of getting drawn back to it. 
it's like telling you, hey, we can still get where we want to go here without just being in constant exhaustion, without being um, not feeling like we're having enough, um, overthinking every situation here. Because of the Queen of Pentacles is kind of what it represents is this kind of um, almost like gold digger energy, you know, just wanting money. It's all about money, 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 money here. We have the Three of Pentacles coming out as well. So I think you're going to start to see um, and start allowing other people to kind of work together here. This is kind of the co-worker energy. This is kind of um, people you align with yourself with to kind of work on a project. As you can see, all these people are working together to build something here. And this is kind of this energy of teamwork, whether it be in this kind of physical world or whether it be in the spiritual world as well. I think you're seeing now maybe how important teamwork is. You know, maybe you want to kind of control everything before Gemini. Maybe you want to do everything. What do you, maybe you want all the acknowledgement. But now you're letting other people kind of do the work. Again, whether that's your spiritual team, whether that's um, in a co-working kind of environment, you're kind of seeing the benefits of teams, seeing the benefits of team dynamics so you can rest, you know, so you can have a more enjoyable life here. So you're not always stressed or worried so much. Collaborations might be really important for you as well right now. This is Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups reversed, I have the Two of Swords reversed, and I have the Two of Wands reversed. We're really focusing on this kind of emotional fulfillment right now. You know, feeling emotionally good, feeling emotionally happy. And it seems like we're making the decision to kind of move away from anything that is not really um, satisfying us in that way anymore. That is not making us feel happy. It's not bringing this kind of um, uh, good emotional feeling to us seems like we're ready to kind of either walk away from it, let it go, um, or put our energy kind of somewhere else here. Back to the drawing board. That's what this kind of two of wands kind of represents. Yeah, it just feels kind of like that energy of kind of um, emotional fulfillment is going to be kind of more on your radar now than it was before. For Gemini, please. That's this Ace of Swords. All right, I'm just gonna read your cards here. So, this is your Oracle card, your Energetic uh, Oracle, which is Anxiety, which we already knew from the Ace of Swords, like I was saying before, from the King of Swords reversed. That's us overthinking. Right? Worry, distress. A woman on this card is filled with anxiety, worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card upright may indicate uh, that you are experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. Right? This overthinking energy. However, you will notice the scene out beside the window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. The Four of Swords. Brouting and fretting will, not, will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. And that's what they're saying. They're like, this is a time of rest, you know, enjoy it. Regain your energy. Stop stressing. I know your mind has more time to work, Gemini, right now. Trust me, I'm a Virgo also ruled by mercury so i get it um with the thinking but we gotta let it go sometimes because it's causing more harm than good right empathetic star seed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours empathetic star seeds are here to shift the world through their physical presence alone they don't need to do anything beyond beyond being here thanks to the energetic change their physical presence causes Due to their highly sensitive nature, empathetic starseeds can struggle on this earth and in a physical body. Many are prone to addiction, depression, or tend to mistake others' feelings or moods for their own. 
Natural introverts, they tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can be overwhelming for them. If this card appears, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put yourself under so much stress or so much pressure to go out into the world. Be gentle to yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically, what we've been talking about this whole time, right? If you're feeling pressured to keep up a certain pace, instead, put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. You know, I can't make this stuff up. Do whatever you can to take the pressures of the world off your plate. Switch off, switch back on. In today's world, it's almost to feel like we should be doing more. But perhaps being present in our life is enough. This could be a phase you're going through or simply how you're called to live your life. If you work, if your work involves giving to others right now, you're being called to keep something for yourself. You don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing before feeling like you should offer it to the world. Instead, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so substantially. All right, Gemini, rest up. It's all you got to need to do this week. You don't need to do anything more. There's nothing you're missing. All you got to do is just rest up. All right, Gemini. That was your end of the month reading. I hope that helped.